Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination, this side Prince. And in our BDD Cucumber series, we are going to discuss about important topic today, that is data table. Before we move on, I would like to highlight what we have covered so far. So we have uh, covered uh, introduction to BDD, we discussed about runners, tags, features and step definitions. In case you haven't looked on to those videos, I'll recommend you to please visit those videos. It will help you get more understanding. I'll be sharing the same in the eye icon. Okay. So in our previous lecture, we discussed about scenario outline, how we can use scenario outline to club multiple test cases having the different set of data. In case you want to get more understanding around it, you can go back to my previous lecture. Okay. So now today we are going to discuss about what is data table in BDD Cucumber and how we can utilize data table in BDD Cucumber to pass multiple set of data to a particular step. Okay. Or how we can provide the data to a particular step in the optimized way. Okay. Then we are going to discuss about the important topic which is being asked in the interviews that is what is the difference between scenario outline and data table. Okay. So let us move to the example part. So if you look at uh, this particular uh, example, so this is one of the feature step which is given user has entered credentials. So this is like labels, username and password and this is data, valid username and valid password. So now corresponding to this feature step, I have created one step definition as well, right? So if you observe the text is same, which makes it like it is binded with this particular step definition. And if you will observe, this is having data type as data table. So data table, we can think of it like a data type in Cucumber, but this is not known to Java. Then the question is how we will read it in Java. Okay. So without further delay, let me jump onto the code side. Okay. So in our previous example, uh, we discussed about one of the scenario where we were passing uh, the credentials for a uh, like a web page using one Gherkin step, right? Wherein we were passing multiple parameters. So let me go here. If you will observe, I am passing first parameter, then I am passing second parameter. Likewise, I am using it in the methods. And then we were uh, locating the element and uh, like inputting the values username and password but how we can optimize it so there is a way way in cucumber to optimize it that is data table so if you'll observe i have replaced this line number 33 with line number 51 and i have created one data table example so we can use data table in multiple ways that we are going to discuss over the course of discussion okay now let us uh, go inside this if you will observe what I have done, I have, uh, you see user has entered credentials and it has data type, data table, right? As we just discussed that data table is something, a data type, which is not known to Java. But there is a way to convert data table into the form of uh, maps or list. Okay. So uh, let me come back to the example. So if you will notice, this is something like list of map. Why it is list of map? So. Uh, if for example we want to uh, get multiple set of data for a particular step so what i can do in this case i'm simply going to type in another data right so this will work like a key and this will work like a value this will work like a key and this will work like a value so this one will become one entry set for the map and along with that this particular key set and this particular value will become another entry set right so that's why this is list of map Right. So in case we want to read the data based on tags, this is how we can convert it into the form of list of maps. So this is the line which I'm going to use why I'm using this particular line. So table has different methods. So let me type in table, which is nothing but data table reference variable, right? It has different methods. So if I'll write as maps, it is converting list of map, right? Now, when I have converted this into the list of map, what I'm going to do now I simply need to read the first list value. So how I can do it? I can simply use credentials, which I have converted it to the list of map dot get of index, which is zero in this case dot get because when we entered zero at index, it is list of map. So it will return me first map, right? So I'm now trying to get the first username. So for that, what I need to do, I need to provide simply 
username key okay likewise what i'm going to do i'm going to simply copy this and put it in the password field as well right so let me do it and i'm again coming back here password and going back here and simply copying password right so this is how we can convert list of map conversion of table into the list of maps so what i'm going to do simply i'm simply going to use it here let me remove this space i'm going to run it you will observe it will launch the application it will enter the username and password so this was the test case so it launched the application it entered the username and password and it has logged it right so this is how we can convert data table in the form of list of map and there are other ways as well so for example if we want to treat this as a key and this as a value then what we can do we can simply go inside here and let me uh, actually let me show you why uh, by uh, why i'm in debug mode so what i'm going to do in this case if i for example i want to treat this as a key and this as a value then what i will do i will simply uh, convert it into the i'll, uh, I'll uh, for example run it in uh, debug mode once let me go here copy the tag and now i'm going to run it so you see it is able to launch now what i am going to do simply if i will write table dot as maps this time what it will do it will give zero size because we we didn't provide the labels this time right so in order to use it as list of map we should have at least two rows so that like this one we should uh, treat one row as a key and rest of the keys as value right so in this case what i'm going to do i'm going to simply convert it into the form of as map right so if i'll convert this into the form of as map what it is giving it is treating this as a key and this has a value so in case we want to treat this particular row as key and this particular row as value then we can use as map and we can pass like data like this right similarly i am going to now discuss about third case wherein i want to use data table as a list so let me uh, go back to the same code now what i am going to do i am simply going to use table dot as lists right so in case i want to treat them in the form of list so in this case what will happen it will convert this into the form of list now i i got the list of list because this is as lists as lists means list of list so i will now try to get first list once i go get the first list then i i will further get list of data because this is list of list right so again i can do one thing i can use git get of zero using this i can get standard user right and there is another way as well for example if uh, i want to simply pass data in the form of uh, like list only so then what i can do i can simply convert it into list and now what i will do i'm going to run the, this particular case let me go back here come to this place and i'm running again running it in debug mode once again so if you will uh, notice i'm now going to convert this table so first of all let us try to get table dot as list so because this was in the form of list so we need to use like this so this way we can get or we can convert the data table in the form of list so there are like multiple ways using which we can convert data table in the form of list list of map map right depending on the need right and then um, we uh, have uh, taken one more example wherein i am using scenario outline along with data table so in this case what i have simply done i have simply replaced uh, this uh, user has entered credentials with um, uh, let me make minor changes so i have simply replaced the data part with the scenario outline examples so in this case uh, every case it will read data from here right so this will become one test case and this along with this particular set of data will become another test case so this is how we can utilize data table to pass multiple set of data to a particular step 
so the difference between data table and scenario outline is scenario outline is responsible for providing the data at the test case level meaning if you observe in this case it is passing this particular data is passed to this particular step right but for the whole scenario right the whole scenario will be executed but and in the second case also what will happen it will second time also execute the test cases but it will read data from here but in case of data table we are providing the data to a particular step within the same scenario so iteration is taking place at the step level so scenario outline is responsible for the scenario level data and data table is responsible for the step level data so this is it uh, for now thank you for watching i'll request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again bye